class number 139, Yin Yang Yoga. This is your sneak peek into the live stream room at the guest bungalow. The offering for today was a deep stretch of the connective tissues. Each pose was held for around one to two minutes in length and towards the middle to the end of the offering, it moved to a vinyasa flow for an advanced abdominal toning experience. For the individuals who weren't in the mood for an advanced offering, they simply recommended remaining in down dog for a yin experience. Of course, Child's Pose is another wonderful offering. If you're not particularly in the mood for something uh, a yoga instructor offers, Child's Pose is a great resting point until you're ready to pick back up into the sequence. My favorite pose within the offering for today was Butterfly. And I'd like to walk you through that experience if you'd like to join me down on your yoga mat. You're going to bring the soles of your feet together and instead of moving your heels to your tush for a deeper experience, you're going to move your tush to your heels. Sometimes it's nice to um, ground your sit bones, moving the meat of your tush to the side so you can really feel the sit bones connecting with your mat. Grabbing onto your toes, inhale, sit up real straight, rolling the shoulders back and down, treating the head like a balloon as it floats up towards the sky. Closing your eyes and you gaze at the center of your forehead. Initiating your imagination, you visualize yourself as the most beautiful butterfly. And slowly you lift your knees and allow them to fall, flapping your butterfly wings, creating a trampoline effect with your legs. Up and down they go, up and down they go. My favorite butterfly is a painted lady. I hope you're visualizing yourself as your favorite butterfly. It's important to practice and challenge and strengthen our imagination. As we get older, we tend to see our imagination as a, a childlike component uh, and kind of leave it in our past. I challenge you to bring it forward, to nurture that inner child within yourself and to be a butterfly in this moment, evolving into what you desire. Still your legs, lengthen your spine a little more, reaching that crown up towards the stars. Then you hinge at your hips, relaxing your nose down towards your toes. If you want an even deeper experience, you walk your hands out, engaging with the floor, pulling yourself deeper into your stretch. Breathing in and out through your nose. Go into the location within your body where you feel the most sensation and using your imagination again, you breathe into this location so it can stretch and relax. When this pose is held for one to five minutes in length, it helps to release what no longer serves within your connective tissues. That tension, that pressure, that pain, that stagnant energy, the terrible memories that are locked and stored in your tissues. As a result, it is common to experience an emotional release through the practice of yin. So if tears start flowing, don't be scared. Release what no longer serves, feeling lighter and more flexible as a result.
whenever you're coming out of a yin posture, you do so slowly and mindfully, gently moving your hands closer towards your core as you roll up. Thank you for joining me for this experience. If you'd like the full one hour offering, which included um, a mudra practice, the secret language in yoga, an asan practice, the yin yang experience, the deep stretch paired with a vinyasa flow, and a classic relaxation guided meditation. Make your way on over to theguestbungalow.com and enter the live stream room. We would love to have your company. And don't forget to stretch. Visit theguestbungalow.com today. We're open 24-7. And now is the perfect time to retreat. For ongoing inspiration, follow us across social media.